Right now I feel very good. I feel that the pregnancy is long, so I'm waiting to also get over with it, but I'm trying also at the same time to enjoy it. And luckily uh, during the pregnancy now I can do a lot of stuff that I want to. I don't have any like bad, um, bad symptoms or yeah. So the body is uh, working with me, so that's good. Actually, I think for some it's quite difficult, but I think the most important for me uh, personally, and I also know there's a lot of other handball players that maybe feels the same way, that it's important and we are, I'm very lucky to have uh, a partner that, that support you in everything, that I have uh, Adam that is there every time. Like if I'm gonna go uh, in the beginning with uh, Olivia, then when I'm going to training, he was alone with her. Uh, when I was uh, with the national team, he was with her. Like he took care of everything here at home with her. So that is like the biggest important thing I, I feel that I'm really humble. I'm really, I feel really lucky to have him. A lot of people try to prepare me uh, about like there's a different kind of love, you will feel different uh, like personally and, uh, and general in life. And then I, I could mostly feel like I never felt this kind of love before. And also like as a handball player I could uh, relax much much more like I had something home that was mo more important than uh, have a good training or win, win a game and this kind of stuff so I was more relaxed and didn't put so much pressure on myself and could yeah put the bad stuff behind me much much faster uh, first of all I want to say that this is really individual. As I said previous, that my body's working with me, so I don't have any problems during the pregnancy. And at the same time, uh, I feel now that I can do a lot. In the beginning uh, with uh, Olivia, I was more scared because there I was, we needed help. Uh, I needed help to get pregnant, so I was more scared to do stuff. Uh, during now, this pregnancy, I can I have done a lot. I have played handball for much longer than I expected, maybe. Maybe other expected, but I <laughs> didn't know myself, so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm doing gym. Uh, I'm running. Now I started to run in incline on a treadmill. That feels much better for the stomach and from, for my symphysis. But I'm really happy that I can do as much training as I can, but at the same time be careful with uh, everything because yeah, you also need to take care of your body. I think the first point for me is that I'm less scared. Uh, the first pregnancy was like, it was totally new. I didn't know how my body would react, my hormones would react, how my feelings would react. Um, and now I feel more relaxed. Uh, even though it's still, of course, it is a risk uh, during a whole pregnancy and giving birth. It's gonna be a boy, yeah. Uh, and we have decided name. Uh, and actually it was Adam that came up with it. And it's a really old Norwegian name, I think. And it's uh, Odin. Uh, we wanted a name that uh, started with a O, uh, as same as Olivia. And we felt that uh, Olive and Oliver that would be too close to each other. So then he, yeah. Then we figured out that Odin is, sounds really good. And after we figured out it was a boy, we just call him Odin. And now I think it will be strange to change it as well. So, <laughs> but he will, as the same as with Olivia, have uh, Hungarian uh, citizen and passport uh, as well as Norwegian really happy to have extended my contract here. It's like I said in the, uh, that interview that it's not, I'm not, I feel not just here for the sport and the handball, but I feel, I feel home here in the club and in Gjør, like with everyone around me. Um, so I really feel a big part of Eto family, so I'm really happy to, to still stay here. And then with coming back from the pregnancy, I, I personally have a hope that I can be ready in April for games 
uh, and hopefully for training, handle trainings a little before. <laughs> yeah.